Welcome to the next set of development uh, series tutorials for Mono Game. Uh, in this particular series, we're going to concentrate on Windows 8 Metro development. Uh, this is a brand new development in our Develop 3D branch that is currently in progress. Um, and the idea behind these set of development series is to try and get other people on board and get more people interested in, in helping develop this particular platform a bit further. Um, before we get started, uh, there's a couple of things you're going to need if you want to follow this particular um, tutorial today. Uh, first, you'll have to have Windows 8 con consumer preview, so not customer preview. Um, you have to have that installed. I've had it installed on a on a proper laptop. Um, but I know people have had it installed in a in a virtual machine. I'm not too sure how the hardware acceleration of graphics will uh, work in a virtual machine, but um, I'm sure if someone's done that, they will let us know. And you'll need Visual Studio 2011 Express uh, for Metro installed. Um, but other than that, that's those are, are the required tools um, that you'll need to get started with this. So. What this is about is basically getting getting a setup. Um, we're going to run through today um, installing a Git client um, and then cloning through Mono Game and getting the Develop 3D branch out. Uh, currently, uh, our main our master branch on um, Mono Game is the Develop branch, which doesn't have Windows 8 Metro support in it. Um, so we'll need to make sure we check out the develop 3D branch. We'll then go through installing some project templates um, and then getting a very basic XNA application up and running. I mean this is going to be really basic, there's going to be no content to it so it's just going to be a basic you know, cornflower blue screen that's going to come up. But it'll be a good starting point and in later tutorials we'll go through how to set up content and get all that okay, working. So let's go about um, getting Mono Game out and getting set up for Windows 8. First thing you're going to need to do is uh, install a Git client. Now you could use the clone to Windows option which is a new option for uh, that of GitHub have made available. Um, I have tested that out and to be honest I had a few problems with it so uh, my own personal preference is to use MSYS Git which is an open source uh, client that you can download so we'll just go ahead and download you can just download that um, the 1.710 preview works quite well on Windows 8 I've actually already installed this um, as you can see I've got the bash shell there but before we can actually clone the repository we're going to need to set up a private um, a private key so let's go back onto the desktop and start the git GUI now this has got a nice um, little menu option that will actually generate a key for you. Um, I've already got a key here and that's been blurred out so you can't see it but normally what you do is just generate the key, copy it to clipboard and then um, post that into your account in the appropriate place on GitHub. Now I've already done that so, um, so we can just start up the, the git bash shell straight away. Um, so let's go into documents. Let's make a directory projects and go into that. And then we're going to say git clone. Now I already have a fork of um, of Mono Game, um, and we can check that out here. So if you haven't got a fork already, once you've created your account and you go to the Mono Game project, that will say fork this repository there. Um, as I've already got one, I can just go to my fork, uh, grab that URL there, and copy it, and then paste it into here, and then clone it. So that's uh, cloning now. It's going to check out all the source, well, not all the source code, but the vast majority of the source code um, onto my hard drive. Currently, the default project for Mono Game is the development branch, not the develop 3D branch. So what we'll have to do is switch over to the develop 3D branch because that's the only branch that supports Windows 8 at the moment. So um, as soon as this is done, uh, we'll just enter a few commands that will 
and switch us over to the new branch. And there we go, so that's done. So now we go into mono game and we say git checkout develop 3D. So now we're in the develop 3D branch. Um, first thing we need to do is initialize sub modules. Um, this will get down any dependencies and also uh, clone the samples folder which we need um, and all the third party libraries that we use. So there's two commands we need to run at this point. There's git submodule init which initializes it and then git submodule update and this will go ahead and start cloning samples um, it will also clone the third party libraries and the unit tests as well um, the samples is quite big so it will take a while so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let that run um, and then we'll come back to it uh, once it's finished so we've now got all the source code down from one game along with all the starter kits, the samples and the tests. Um, as, and as you can notice from notice from the git bash shell we're in the develop 3D branch. So we just confirm that we've got the samples. And there we go, we've got all the sample files in there. So the first thing we want to do is actually set up Visual Studio 2011 with the uh, mono game metro templates. So to do that um, we'll grab the templates from mono game and they're stored in project templates Visual Studio 2011 and it's the Metro one we're after now what we need to do is just zip up all the files in this folder uh, and then pop those in the uh, Visual Studio templates directory now note it has to be the files in the root folder you wouldn't do the zip from here because otherwise I don't think that don't think that works otherwise so let's just grab that Visual Studio 2011 templates, project templates and we'll drop it in Visual C Sharp ok so now let's go ahead and start Visual Studio and if we do new project we should see the mono game template available which is, we'll go ahead and create one of those just to make sure everything works and the first thing we'll need to do is actually add a reference to the mono game Windows 8 uh, project because there aren't any binary releases at the moment so if we do add existing project we'll go to the mono game directory into the mono game framework and then pick out mono game framework Windows 8 so add that in and then we need to add a reference to that in solution projects and then we just build it and that built ok so let's see if it running let's see if it runs and there we have the cornflower blue screen of a standard X and A app and as you can see there's the uh, Windows 8 menu bar Uh, the nice thing about this is you can actually insert breakpoints as well. So let's just go and have a look at standard game class and say stick a breakpoint in low content debug and it will automatically switch back into the application so you can then debug it which is quite a nice feature. Okay so um, now you've got a rough idea on how to uh, get set up and hopefully contribute back to mono game um, if you do want to help out or contribute there's obviously our twitter account there um, feel free to follow us if you want to keep up to date on any news on this particular platform or any of the platforms you're interested in um, there's also the main github website which uh, is where we tend to log any issues and track any issues that come up um, and of course there's the Coplex site which is, has a good discussion forum on there um, and there's a particular thread for uh, Windows 8 Metro support so feel free to contribute on that as well um, and as always there's also the Monogame Team YouTube channel um, which is where we post up some examples and screenshots of, of stuff that we were working on 
I uh, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you've got any feedback, please use the comment system. And um, we'll see you next time. Thank you.